Hello everyone, Phil here. Welcome back to the channel. Now I'm sure that you will enjoy tonight's story. Please make sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends, family, and social platforms as it helps the channel grow. And now without further ado, let's just dive in to the story. Amidst the rolling hills and ancient woods of Sleepy Hollow, a tale of darkness and vengeance took root. In the tumultuous days of the Revolutionary War, a ruthless Hessian soldier named Reinhard van Brunt terrorized the region. His presence struck fear into the hearts of even the bravest souls. Tales of his merciless deeds spread like wildfire, fanning the flames of dread that consumed the villagers. But it was not just his brutality that earned him a place in infamy. It was the insatiable hunger for power that consumed his soul. Reinhardt's appetite for dominion knew no bounds, and in his quest to bend the land to his will, he drew the attention of a mysterious sorceress whose origins were veiled in shadows. She, too, harbored a power that defied human understanding, a connection to the arcane that had been passed down through her lineage. Appalled by the atrocities Reinhardt committed, the sorceress could no longer remain a passive observer. Gathering the last vestiges of her waning strength, she concocted a curse of unprecedented potency. On a fateful night, under the shadow of a blood-red moon, the sorceress's incantations reverberated through the very fabric of reality. Her magic coiled around Reinhardt, binding him to the horse he rode upon, severing his head from his body. His anguished screams echoed through the forest as his form transformed into something monstrous, a headless specter condemned to ride the earth for eternity. In the aftermath of the ritual, the sorceress vanished into the night, leaving behind a land forever marked by her actions. Sleepy Hollow became a place of whispered tales and hidden fears, the dark legend of the headless horseman ingrained in the collective memory of the village. As the years passed, the village changed, yet the curse endured. The headless horseman, now a malevolent wraith, became a symbol of vengeance, his spectral form a harbinger of doom. The once tranquil woods surrounding Sleepy Hollow became a realm of shadows and secrets, forever haunted by the echo of hoofbeats and the haunting silhouette of a rider without a head. In the years following the curse's inception, the village of Sleepy Hollow existed in a state of perpetual unease. The tale of the Headless Horseman became an integral part of the town's identity, woven into its history and consciousness like a chilling thread of destiny. Every cobblestone street, every rustling leaf in the forest, seemed to hold a hidden secret, a reminder of the curse that bound them all. The villagers spoke of the Headless Horseman in hushed tones, their words laden with a mixture of fear and fascination. Elders recounted the tale to wide-eyed children, their voices heavy with the weight of generations of dread. The horseman's story was told around crackling hearth fires, casting long, flickering shadows on the walls, as if the specter himself lingered just outside the window. As the village bustled with life by day, the impending darkness of night brought forth an eerie calm. Street lamps flickered in the inky blackness, casting feeble pools of light that seemed to be swallowed by the shadows. Though the villagers tried to ignore the unease that crept into their hearts, they couldn't escape the lurking fear that the headless horseman could materialize at any moment. The town's graveyard, the old Dutch burying ground, held a particularly eerie allure. It was rumored that the headless horseman would sometimes emerge from the fog-shrouded tombstones, searching for his long-lost head. Brave souls who dared to venture near the graveyard at night claimed to have glimpsed the ethereal rider galloping through the moonlit mist as if chasing an elusive memory. Yet, amidst the dread, Sleepy Hollow retained an air of mystique that attracted the curious and the intrepid. Travelers passing through would stop to hear the tales, their eyes widening with both skepticism and intrigue. They were drawn to the village's dark history, to the blurred boundary between reality and the supernatural, like moths to a bewitching flame. And so, Sleepy Hollow lived on its nights haunted by whispered stories, and its days graced by the lingering memory of the headless horseman. The village had become a nexus of fear and fascination, where the veil between the mundane and the mysterious was impossibly thin, and the legend of the headless horseman was etched into the very soul of the land. As autumn painted the landscape with hues of red and gold, a new figure entered the stage of Sleepy Hollow. Ichabod Crane, a man of wiry frame and a mind teeming with curiosity, arrived in the village to fill the role of school teacher. With him came a trunk filled with books of both scholarly and esoteric nature, a testament to his insatiable thirst for knowledge, 
particularly in matters that dwelled in the realm of the unknown. Ichabod's arrival stirred both interest and speculation among the villagers. His keen intellect and aloof demeanor set him apart, making him an enigma in the quiet community. Children watched with wide eyes as he passed by, whispering amongst themselves about the strange symbols and diagrams that adorned his clothing and the margins of his books. Yet, Ichabod's most peculiar trait was his fascination with the supernatural, the very essence that Sleepy Hollow was steeped in. While others avoided the subject out of fear, he embraced it, poring over ancient tomes in search of forgotten legends and hidden truths. He listened raptly to the tales of the headless horseman, his eyes gleaming with a mixture of skepticism and excitement. The Van Tassel farm, a place of rustic charm and pastoral beauty, caught Ichabod's attention in more ways than one. Katrina Van Tassel, a vision of grace and vitality, captured his imagination. Ichabod saw in her not just a woman of beauty, but a chance to escape the mundane life that had bound him for so long. Her father's wealth added to her allure, promising him a future far grander than his current station as a schoolteacher. As the harvest festival approached, the village buzzed with preparations. Ichabod, undeterred by the foreboding tales of the headless horseman, saw an opportunity to make his mark. He believed that his inquisitive nature and learned conversation would set him apart from the rugged townsfolk, making him an appealing suitor in Katrina's eyes. Little did he know that the legend of the headless horseman was not merely a quaint story, but a force that held the village in its grip, a force that would soon entwine with his destiny in ways he could scarcely imagine. As the harvest festival dawned, Sleepy Hollow transformed into a place of mirth and celebration. The air was redolent with the scents of apple pie and roasted meats, and laughter echoed through the streets as villagers donned their finest attire. Ichabod Crane, too, emerged in a new semblance, determined to impress both the townsfolk and the bewitching Katrina Van Tassel. The festival grounds were adorned with colorful banners and lanterns, casting a warm glow that pushed back the encroaching shadows. Yet as the sun dipped below the horizon, a chill wind stirred, carrying with it the unsettling whispers of the supernatural. The townspeople, while embracing the festivities, couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched by unseen eyes. As the night deepened, a sense of unease settled over Ichabod, though he tried to brush it aside with an air of casual confidence. With a bouquet of flowers in hand, he approached Katrina, who was the epitome of grace in her festival attire. The two exchanged polite conversation, laughter, and meaningful glances that hinted at the possibilities of the future. As the hours passed, however, the festivities began to take on a more eerie undertone. The moon hung in the sky like a silver coin, casting an otherworldly glow over the landscape. The dance floor became a whirl of shadows and silhouettes, and the laughter that once filled the air now seemed to falter in the face of the encroaching darkness. It was then that a hush fell over the crowd, a collective shiver that ran through the assembled villagers. Whispers raced like wildfire, and heads turned in unison to the entrance of the festival grounds. Emerging from the edge of the forest was a rider, his form obscured by the mist that clung to the ground. The rider's horse was a creature of nightmares, its hooves barely touching the earth as it advanced. The rider himself was a figure of eerie majesty, his form draped in tattered cloth that fluttered in the wind. But most striking of all was the vacant space where his head should have been, a void that seemed to draw in the light around it. As the headless horseman drew nearer, a hushed gasp swept through the crowd, and the festival descended into a stunned silence. Ichabod's bravado crumbled, replaced by a paralyzing fear that clenched at his heart. This was no mere legend, no story to be dismissed as a flight of fancy. The headless horseman was real, and the chill that ran down Ichabod's spine was a testament to his terror. In the moonlit haze, the headless horseman's spectral gaze fixed upon Ichabod, and a bone-chilling grin curled across his formless face. The very air seemed to vibrate with a sinister energy as the headless horseman raised a ghostly hand and pointed a finger in Ichabod's direction. The events that followed were a blur of chaos and panic as the festival-goers scattered, fleeing the scene in a frenzy. Ichabod's footsteps were frantic as he stumbled backward, his wide eyes locked onto the advancing rider. Heart pounding like a war drum, he mounted his horse and spurred it into motion, fleeing from the specter's relentless pursuit. Through the winding paths of the forest, Ichabod's horse raced, the thunder of hooves and the ragged gasps of breath merging into a symphony of terror. The headless horseman was relentless,
his form an indomitable silhouette that never faltered in its chase. And so, as the moon cast its pale light upon a nightmarish pursuit, Ichabod Crane found himself entangled in the very legend he dared to dismiss. The headless horseman was no mere story. It was a force of darkness and vengeance that sought to consume him whole. And as Ichabod's breaths grew ragged and his mind raced with fear, he realized that the realm of the supernatural was far more tangible and far more terrifying than he could have ever imagined. The moon hung like a silver lantern in the ink-black sky as Ichabod's horse thundered through the forest, its hooves pounding against the earth in a desperate rhythm. The headless horseman pursued with an otherworldly determination, his spectral mount keeping pace effortlessly, as if the laws of the physical world held no sway over his cursed form. Ichabod's breath came in ragged gasps, and his heart raced as if it might burst from his chest. Fear had overtaken him, its icy grip tightening with each passing moment. His mind raced, churning with thoughts of the terrifying figure that pursued him relentlessly, the darkness of the woods alive with the whispers of his own doubts, and the hoofbeats that seemed to echo from all directions. Through moonlit glades and shadowy thickets, Ichabod's flight continued, each twist and turn of the forest adding to his disorientation. The path seemed endless, and his horse's breaths grew labored, its sides heaving with exertion. His vision blurred with sweat and tears as he struggled to maintain his grip on the reins, his trembling hands a testament to his terror. The headless horseman's relentless pursuit remained a haunting presence at the edge of his consciousness, the sound of hooves striking the forest floor like a relentless drumbeat. Ichabod's own horse, driven to its limits, seemed to waver, its steps faltering as exhaustion took its toll. As the forest thickened and the moon's light filtered through the dense canopy, Ichabod's surroundings began to warp, the shadows seeming to come alive with sinister intent. The very trees seemed to reach out with ghostly fingers, their twisted branches clawing at the night air. The forest became a labyrinth of fear, each path leading deeper into the unknown. Desperation surged within Ichabod, and in a final surge of resolve, he urged his horse down a narrow trail that seemed to promise an escape from the relentless pursuit. The path twisted and turned, the darkness pressing in from all sides as if the forest itself sought to devour him. But just as hope began to flicker within him, a ghostly form materialized before him, the headless horseman. In a heart-stopping instant, Ichabod's horse reared, its eyes wide with terror, and the two riders collided with a deafening crash. Ichabod was thrown from his mount, his body tumbling through the air before crashing into the underbrush. Dazed and disoriented, Ichabod struggled to his feet, his breaths coming in ragged gasps. His horse lay still, its eyes vacant, a silent testament to the finality of the encounter. And there, amidst the shadows and moonlight, the headless horseman stood, his headless form emanating an aura of malevolent triumph. Ichabod's mind raced, his every instinct urging him to flee, to escape the clutches of the spectral figure before him. But his body was frozen in place, his legs refusing to obey the commands of his terrified mind. He was trapped, ensnared by the gaze of the very legend he had once dismissed. And as the headless horseman raised a skeletal hand, a flicker of eerie light danced within its palm, a jack-o'-lantern ablaze with an otherworldly fire. With a sweeping motion, the headless horseman hurled the lantern toward Ichabod, the air around it crackling with an ominous energy. The lantern sailed through the air, its fiery glow casting grotesque shadows that danced along the trees. Ichabod's heart pounded in his chest, his vision narrowing as the lantern hurtled closer and closer, and then with a blinding burst of light and a deafening explosion, darkness consumed him, and his world faded to oblivion. In the forest's depths, the headless horseman's victorious laughter echoed, mingling with the howling wind and the rustling leaves. The legend had come to life in a torrent of terror, and the once skeptical Ichabod Crane had fallen victim to the curse's inexorable grasp. Amidst the aftermath of Ichabod's disappearance, Sleepy Hollow shrouded itself in a mixture of mourning and whispered speculation. The village was a tapestry woven from threads of fear and uncertainty, as tales of the headless horsemen spread like wildfire through the community. The villagers, once united by their shared dread, now found themselves torn between grief for their vanished schoolteacher and the continuing unease cast by the supernatural legend. As the days turned into weeks, a figure emerged from the shadows, the boisterous and brawny Brom Bones, a rugged, charismatic presence 
Brahm was well known throughout the village for his bravado and fondness for practical jokes, but beneath his jovial exterior lay a complex and often misunderstood heart. Brahm had always held an eye for Katrina Van Tassel, and her affections were no secret. He was fiercely protective of her, despite his often crude and teasing manner. When Ichabod Crane arrived, Brahm saw a rival, a man who had set his sights on the woman he hoped to call his own. With Ichabod's disappearance, a newfound opportunity presented itself to Brahm. He saw the chance to exploit the village's fear and lay claim to Katrina's affections. Drawing upon his natural charisma and his familiarity with the village's darkest stories, Brahm concocted a plan to secure his place in both Katrina's heart and the annals of Sleepy Hollow's legends. Disguising himself as the headless horseman, Brahm employed an array of theatrical tricks to create the illusion of the supernatural, a skill he had honed through years of prankster antics. He donned a cloak and wielded the eerie jack-o'-lantern with skill, venturing into the forest to sow further terror among the villagers. His efforts were rewarded with a potent mixture of fear and awe, as the village's belief in the headless horseman intensified. But as the legend of the headless horseman took on a life of its own, Brahm's satisfaction was tinged with guilt. He watched the village suffer, its innocence eroded by the very fear he had amplified. The once thriving community became a place of unease and trepidation, its spirit dimmed by the shadow he had cast upon it. As Katrina mourned the loss of Ichabod, and the village grappled with its new reality, Brahm's heart grew heavy with regret. He had sought to win Katrina's heart by playing upon the legend, but in doing so, he had unleashed something far more potent than he could have ever imagined. And with each passing day, the weight of his actions bore down upon him, threatening to unravel the very fabric of Sleepy Hollow itself. In the wake of Ichabod Crane's mysterious vanishing, Sleepy Hollow was cast into an eerie twilight between reality and legend. The village mourned the loss of its eccentric schoolteacher, his absence felt like a void that could never be filled. Whispers of the headless horseman's role in his disappearance spread through the village, as fear and speculation grew like ivy over the facade of daily life. The old Dutch burying ground, once a peaceful resting place for generations past, now held an aura of melancholic foreboding. The wind whispered through the gnarled branches of ancient trees, and the moon cast ghostly shadows over weathered gravestones. It was near this desolate place that Ichabod's horse was found, grazing aimlessly with an empty saddle. Rumors spread like wildfire among the villagers. Some believed that Ichabod had fallen prey to the headless horseman's vengeful pursuit, while others whispered that he had fled the village to escape the curse that plagued Sleepy Hollow. No one could agree on the truth, and the very air seemed charged with the tension of the unknown. Katrina Van Tassel, once the object of Ichabod's affections, bore a sorrowful countenance. She mourned the man who had sparked her curiosity and had ignited the fires of her heart. But even as she grappled with her grief, she sensed that the veil between reality and legend was thinning. Dreams were plagued with visions of the headless horseman's fiery gaze, and the distant echoes of hoofbeats seemed to linger in the silence. It was during one moonlit night that Katrina ventured to the old Dutch burying ground, driven by a yearning she could not fully comprehend. She stood amidst the tombstones, her heart heavy with both loss and a strange sense of connection to the supernatural forces that gripped the village. The wind carried faint whispers, like the distant muttering of a forgotten tale. As she stood there, the shadows seemed to coalesce into a form, a figure shrouded in mist and moonlight. The headless horseman materialized before her, his presence a haunting reminder of the legends that had woven themselves into the fabric of her life. Katrina's heart raced, her gaze locked onto the headless horseman's spectral form. There was a silent understanding between them, a recognition that her destiny was intertwined with the forces that had shaped Sleepy Hollow's fate. Her fear ebbed, replaced by a strange blend of awe and acceptance, and as the headless horseman extended a hand towards her, a single red rose appeared in his spectral grip, a symbol of the love that had once flourished between Ichabod and Katrina and of the legacy that would forever be etched into the village's history. Katrina took the rose with a mixture of trepidation and gratitude, her gaze never leaving the headless horseman's spectral eyes. In that moment, the line between reality and legend blurred, and the winds of destiny whispered their secrets to her soul. The village of Sleepy Hollow remained forever changed, caught between the tangible and the ethereal, the past and the present. The headless horseman's legend endured, 
not merely as a tale of terror, but as a testament to the enduring power of stories and the mysteries that lie hidden within the human heart. With each passing season, Sleepy Hollow settled into a new equilibrium, a delicate balance between the known and the unknown, the ordinary and the supernatural. The legend of the Headless Horseman had become an indelible part of the village's identity, its history, and its very soul. The village, once shaken by fear, now embraced its eerie reputation, as tourists and curious travelers from far and wide arrived to explore the mysterious grounds of Sleepy Hollow. The winding roads that led through the ancient woods became well-trodden paths for those seeking a brush with the supernatural. Local storytellers spun tales of the Headless Horseman, each retelling imbuing the legend with new layers of intrigue. Children gathered around campfires, their eyes wide with wonder and terror as they listened to the age-old tales of the spectral rider and the vanished schoolteacher. Yet amidst the haunting stories and the fascination of outsiders, Sleepy Hollow bore the weight of its own history. The old Dutch burying ground, now a solemn testament to the village's past, remained a place of reverence and reflection. Visitors would often pause by Ichabod Crane's empty grave, a stark reminder of the mysteries that Sleepy Hollow held close to its heart. As the years flowed like a meandering river, the truth behind Ichabod's disappearance remained a riddle lost in time. Some believed that he had succumbed to the headless horseman's curse, while others clung to the hope that he had found refuge far from the village's haunted embrace. But the specter of his absence cast a long shadow over Sleepy Hollow, a reminder that the line between reality and legend was often blurred. Katrina Van Tassel, now a widow, had never forgotten the night she stood before the headless horseman. The red rose he had given her had withered and faded, but the memory of that spectral encounter had remained etched in her heart. She became a guardian of Sleepy Hollow's history, sharing her own version of the legend with the curious and the faithful alike. And so, the village of Sleepy Hollow lived on, its identity forever shaped by the Headless Horseman's legacy. It had become a place where the supernatural and the mundane coexisted, where the past and the present danced in a timeless waltz. The villagers had come to accept that the legend was as much a part of their reality as the changing seasons, a testament to the enduring power of myth and the enigmatic mysteries that lay hidden in the heart of Sleepy Hollow. Thank you everyone for watching. Do let me know in the comments section below how you did enjoy the video. Once again, please make sure to hit the like button and I will see you in the next story. Peace.